sec. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Awesome. So this is going to be my first time on stage and my first time talking in my second language. So this is going to be interesting. Um, let's see. There you go. This is basically our product. It's called the Pine Pet. Um, before we get to this, my name is Patrick. You can follow me on at Seismo on Twitter. Um, and I'm from Vienna, Austria. So before we get into the, to the product demo process, basically, we're just going to do a little geography session because that's something that's not really clear, I think. So we're basically here, right? The red dot. And this is Vienna. So um, the most important thing that you have to take away from this talk, there are no kangaroos in Austria. Okay? <laughs> People do get this wrong quite often, believe me. Um, so with that out of the way, let's talk about appointment. Appointment is basically a practice management software for healthcare providers. Um, and we provide a direct connection to a public healthcare portal, which is in development right now. Um, and it all started out in um, October 2013. And we wanted to solve one simple problem, and that is finding a doctor and booking appointments online, um, which is a pain in the ass in, in Austria and in Europe in general. I know you guys have something like a SOCDOC. I don't know if you're familiar with that, where you can actually book appointments nationwide. Um, we don't have anything like that. So we have a few doctors that are actually pretty tech savvy. So forms like this are pretty common in Austria. Um, and if you're lucky, it looks something like this. Um, it's kind of easier to use, I guess. Um, and most of the people look like this. It's just a coincidence that this guy is uh, right here, Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> so, but. In order to um, offer a booking, booking solution, a general booking solution, um, we needed access to the calendars of HCPs. That's what, that's what we call uh, healthcare professional HCPs. Um, and this is where we found an even bigger problem than just the booking process. Um, healthcare software is basically outdated, difficult to use, and it has no connection to the, to the patient or the client at all. So most of the stuff looks like this. Um, this is actually a scheduling. It should be a calendar, if you can recognize this. Um, another good example is this one. It actually looks basically like a calendar, so it's better. Um, and electronic patient records are a funny thing. Um, they're amazing to look at, um, especially due to the fact that you have to look quite a bit on the screen to actually find what you actually want. So there are a lot of actions that you can perform, which leaves our clients look like this. Basically, <laughs> um, so we came up with a two-step solution. Basically, um, the first step is the practice management software. Um, we want to get HCPs on board and uh, tremendously improve their daily processes. Basically, um, and the second step will be. Oh, so we have the, the HCP software right now, um, but we are working on the on the public health care portal. This will be step two, um, where we actually can connect to the HCP. You can book appointments. And you can actually manage your medical data. So um, in Austria, I don't know how this is in, 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 uh, in the States, but in Austria, it's usually the way that you have your uh, documents and all your reports and, and um, stuff like that at the on-site at the, at the doctor, basically. So it's in some shady back office on a Windows XP machine, usually. So this data is not really safe, and you can't access it anywhere. So that's why we decided to. Um, offer a public healthcare portal where all your data is basically stored and you can look at it anytime. You can get a second opinion from a different HCP and stuff like that. So um, this is in development right now and I hope we get out the first version out the door by the end of the year. Um, but in this short amount of time I'm just going to talk about the first step. So this is the practice management software. It won't be too complex to show you everything so I just uh, threw together a short video uh, while I talk over it. Um, it's basically an all-in-one solution for HCPs, um, so that, that means there is no additional software required because most of the people use two or three different solutions for different use cases. So they have a scheduling um, software, they have an electronic EPR software, they have a billing software, and nothing is in sync basically. So if you as a patient change your phone number, you have to do it in three separate um, applications, which is a pain in the ass. Um, so we offer uh, scheduling, we offer an encrypted, encrypted electronic patient record, we offer resource management for group practices, which means you can manage your employees, you can manage different rooms, you can manage different devices and the availability of those. Um, we have an integrated billing system, 
comprehensive practice statistics so you can actually run reports on, on how the practice is doing. And it's always accessible via our smartphone and uh, tablet. So it's a web-based application, which is totally new um, in, in that uh, area. And yeah, so that's about it. I was too fast, unfortunately, so this should take a couple of seconds. Um, and the second thing is uh, the web service I've uh, talked about before, um, where you can find your healthcare professional. You can book appointments or you can sign up for short-term appointments. So if, for example, the HCP has a, um, a patient canceling this appointment, you get a push notification to your phone which says, hey, there's a slot open for today at 3 p.m. Do you want this um, or not? And um, you can access all your uh, medical data, you manage uh, the medical data, send it to another HCP, get a second opinion. Um, you can communicate with your HCP, and the best thing for a patient, everything is for free, basically. So we only make money on, on doctors and healthcare professionals. Um, the problem that we are facing right now is basically selling this stuff because it's a very traditional uh, industry and um, it takes a lot of convincing. So people usually look like this when we first call them um, and they are very skeptical. Um, but thankfully, um, once we get to sit down with them, it usually takes 30 to 45 minutes to go through, all, through the uh, whole application. They usually are amazed by what we do. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. If you want to know more or if you want to see the, the application in action, just hit me up. I'll be around. Um, yeah, thanks. This morning, I asked Drew, uh, is there a spot open for Maker's Moment? And have you ever asked someone like a question where you weren't sure if you wanted to hear yes? That's kind of, he was like, yes. So I was like, um, I went to my hotel room and I started, I'm just, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. That's not, that's, a, that's not what happened. That's not what happened. Uh, I just quickly threw some slides together to show you guys. Um, so uh, I'm a product designer at Omada in San Francisco. And in my free time, I work on Stay Home. It's um, a way to track, discover, and recommend your favorite TV shows to, to your friends. Um, it started with a, s a small three-day three, three day Airbnb trip with me and a friend. We were like, hey, let's do this. And we never found the time to do it. So we're like, let's just book an Airbnb and like hack on it for like a couple of days. So yeah, the problem I had was I watch a lot of TV shows, spend a lot of time finding details and remembering uh, the progress, like where, where I am with each, with each show. And it's kind of a passion project to like see every uh, every show I'm watching and where I am with each show, on, in like one view. Uh, so that was the goal, and the additional goal would be for because this would be for like the diehard people who watch a lot of shows. Uh, so additionally, I would want to make it like more accessible for other people that would want to discover new shows and recommend TV shows to others. Um, so yeah, the plan was to create a quick MVP in like a couple of days, and I like, continue working on it and share it with people as quickly as possible and then iterate. Um, so on the plane over, we had an Airbnb in Venice Beach. On the plane over there, like quickly like decided what, what, what are we gonna do? Uh, we decided on this. Most important things were like the dashboard that we're gonna show all your shows and uh, an episode uh, model where you could like change and select your episode. And like uh, ideally we'd, we'd be able to create that to get people to sign up. Um, yeah, so first thing was the dashboard. Um, the interesting thing here is because we wanted to do this quick, uh, the idea was to, like, whatever, whatever I would design would feel pretty final. So I tried to, like, put everything in it that I wanted and then see where we go. Um, the second thing would be the, yeah, where we show more info, where you could watch this, uh, this show, select your episode where you're at right now. And then the more ambitious thing, which is more exciting, uh, is recommendations. Uh, the idea would be that if you're like following a show, you'd be able to add a little comment, and it, we would generate a link that you could send to your friends, and they, and they would be able to get, get more info about that show, 
where they could watch it and maybe even sign up and start tracking. So d there's like an early beta ready that I hope I can show you. So this is kind of what we have right now. Um, you're able to track all your shows. Uh, you're able to see how many episodes you have left. Um, you're able to track the episodes, see descriptions. All right. You'd have to see it in the real size so it looks a little better. Um, then we added the ability to pause a show if you're like not into it right now, and it would move to your paused shows, and you'd see like how many episodes you have left with it for each show. So if you want to like start a show again, you'd be able to just go and see like, oh, this is only eight episodes. I can like watch this over next week or so. Um, and eventually, if you finish things, you will have a collection of the things you finish. And so if anyone ever asks you for a recommendation, you could like quickly go to this tab see like the shows you actually finished and really like, and then be able to, for, with the next feature, to just re recommend it real quick. Um, we're also working on discovery. It's super simple right now. We just show the most popular ones, with, but the idea is to build this out with, with uh, showing genres and more personal curation as well. Uh, new releases, what's, what's out right now, uh, and be able to add it to your dashboard and start tracking it. So that button is supposed to, when you click it, you, you see like a decrease in the episodes you have left and eventually come to a finished state. Um, right now working on a newer version as well. So since that was all quick in a couple of days, now starting to like rethink the design more. Let's see, it's like a newer version. Uh, we're like playing more with um, like no modals, uh, showing everything on the page, being able to do everything a little quicker, and working with more on like branding and things like that. 